I think we've done it! Though the situation did seem rather precarious for a moment there. Wonderful work, though. You would make an excellent lab assistant when you're a little older, of course. Now, we just need to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. How do you like that, Director Spectre? Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. You might be the best assistant I've ever had, but don't tell Virgo that. He's just looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Anyway, back to the spacer. Maybe we can get you home before dinner. I suspect they are worried sick about you. I understand. Thank you. For And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. Pete, Max, Willow, and Hoops tried to tell everyone what had happened. But without evidence, no one believed them. No, instead, people heralded Ominent's amazing new invention. A shrinking machine, and everyone learned the name of the one behind it all. Director 
Dalton Schmechter. It didn't end there. The world found out about me, about the raisining, and I had to disappear and hide away, which meant all I could do was watch as Schmechter took credit for everything that I had achieved. The kids tried to get back to their normal lives as best they could. Burgle has been keeping an eye on them in my stead, joining their science and robotics club. They made him the mascot, but they didn't tell him that part. And I can't help thinking that there was more I could have done with my time in the yard. That said, I have my wife, my family, and I can continue my research, such that it is, trying to make the most of what little time that I have remaining. Just like a fruit pounder. This isn't one of mine. My suspicions were correct. This lab is not one of mine. I knew it! Schmechter has been spying on me this whole time. <laughs> Classic Schmechter. Now, what do we have here? Standard ominent security door? <laughs> it's now or never. Okay, let's get Burgle on the line. Hello, this is Burgle Science Lab. Burgle speaking. Can I interest you in some grills? Burgle, I need you to hack into an ominent security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. If you had replaced that grilling function with something more useful, we would not be waiting all day for... I'm in! Username, Schmechter D. Password, Schmechter D. Director. Transmitting! Why, thank you, Burgle. have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here, face to face? Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too, left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. you've been up to. Who knows what secrets 
Abominant is hiding. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Armageddon. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of director Dalton Schmachter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, you can tell him. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together. <laughs>